Now this is one uh, photograph I took a couple of weeks ago when I was walking around Sutton Park. Um, quite like this composition, got a very simple sky so I might try and make it a bit more interesting. Um, some distant trees there and pretty much uh, green all the way through so I have to try and vary those greens a little bit. Maybe have a emphasise this path a bit more as well so see how you get on. It's all the usual gear, you'll see a full list of gear in the video description underneath the uh, video player. So most of the work will be with the large hay. So I'm going to start off with a bit of raw sienna. I'm not going to wet it as much as what I normally do. See how I get on. A bit of a lizard and crimson as well. Warm it up a bit, a bit more. Raw sienna. I mean, down there it's going to be green, so just put a bit of green. Just looking for sort of general, general colour at the moment. More raw sienna. And the brush is pretty dry, so it's I'm not really wetting it like I normally do. I'm just gonna just see how it turns out, really. Right, so that's switch back to the sky now. So clean the brush, dry it. Um, a bit more blue, a bit more water on it now this time. A bit of blue, a bit of grey. And then just and I think because I haven't wetted as much, it's not it's not running down the papers and much, so I'll see how it goes. And again, clean it, dry it, and then a few little clouds, a bit of lizard, crimson and uh, Pines grey and just dot them around. I don't want to get too madly there. It's so easy to overdo it. Somewhere down there, yeah. I don't know why I did that. So that's pretty much the, um, the sort of back backdrop. So what I need now is the very distant. Very distant trees, right on the horizon line. So I'm just going raw sienna, bit of ultramarine, and right, right away over there. Just in front of them, it goes right over to that side there, and then just in front of them, we've got some darker trees now. So I'm just going to go a bit of blue, a bit of yellow, a bit of Payne's grey. change it a little bit, change the green. And you see trees just there right in the corner. So it's just got a bit dark, so I want to get back to a lighter green now. So I've changed, cleaned it. I mean, back to our lighter green. And I'm just filling in these gaps. With a nice light. Brighter green there into this raw sienna, just change it a little bit. Right now, in front of that, again, we've got some darker, darker bushes. Starting over there, a bit of pain's grey, just to say it's really dark now, stands out. And it's sort of all the way across. Right 
Um, oh yeah, I want to go light again now, so I'm going to have to, every time you get dark, once you want to get back to light, remember you've got to clean the brush, just take the excess off on the tea towel, and then you can go back again then into your light colours. Got a bit of, of raw sienna around here. Lemon yellow. Into the ultramarine, just to bend it a little bit. Extra lemon yellow. Little sienna. So you're just constantly trying to bend it, keep it interesting. It has stretched light of the paper, so I'm just going to pull that tight so it's flat against the board again. You don't want it flapping about. You can't get a proper stroke with your brush. So we've got a sort of some sort of foreground ones here. So again, a good bit darker now. Yeah, a little bit dark, so I want, I want that to contrast. You can see that now contrasts nicely against that lighter background. And these, I can't be in black, I want to go a bit more green. Coming down somewhere. Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a big, big so that's somewhere up there like that. Just going to leave that one there like that. There's just a, scraping a few trunks and branches. I want to go back to lighter colour, so I'm going to clean the brush. Right, go back into the lemon yellow. And I'm sort of mixing it on the paper, although it's, I've just got one colour on there, I'm sort of going into the colour on the paper. You can see all the little variations in colour. Bit of raw sienna. What I might do now is just put a try and emphasise a path. I'm just going to go a bit of red, a bit of blue. And then if you say if the path sort of just goes around like that, and that's it. Don't do anything else, just leave it. Again, clean the brush, take the excess off on the tea towel, and then I'm going to a bit of raw sienna. And I'm catching the paint that's already on the paper. So it's not just one colour, it's all the little variations. Just pushing the greens up to the path. Maybe a little bit in the middle. And then there's just another bush bush down. And I want to get dark, so I'm gonna bother cleaning the brush because I'm going from I'm just going through a dark colour. So start off with something like that. Then see to get really dark green and to contrast nicely against this lighter colour here. And then to really get some grey on it to get that contrast. So 
So to get back to the lights, clean the brush, excess water on the tea towel, you need to raw sienna, a bit of light, um, lemon yellow, and just pop this area in down there. The grass growing here and there, darker colours. Just trying to just tipping, just touching the very tips of the of the hairs on the paper. It's just like a little bits of grass popping up here and there. I'll just give that a quick dry. I just want to put a little figure in, just a little figure, walking off, I'm just going to give him a red coat, I'm just going straight into the light red, and you've got like a, just a little red top, and then just go into the blue to put on his trousers. Walk in the dark, just a little little dog in front of him. And I think I'm going to call that one finished. I'm just going to pop me now. Down the bottom. So let's see what it looks like with the uh, mount on. In fact, before I put the mount on, I've just noticed there's some yellow flowers growing in this in this one here. So I thought let's just take the yellow. I'm just going to dab it straight on from the. Uh, that's what it looks like. Oh, that's a bit. Might have been better if I'd stuck to the uh, a little rig the rigger bush into the end of the thing. It's all about experimenting. Just try different ways and just see what works. You'll be amazed at what you'll discover along the way if you just experiment here and there. Um, yeah, I think next time I'll just dip the tips in and just do it with the rigger bush one at a time. But let's see what it looks like with the mount on anyway. So if you have a look at the photograph and see how it compares. So the first thing, sky, very, well there's nothing happening at all, is that just a plain, very light coloured sky. So amongst the blue I've put a bit of, a bit of raw sienna, a bit of lizard and crimson, at least sort of pinky type colours. Um, some areas left, this could be white cloud, left unpainted. And then we've got our clouds there, a bit of pines, grey, lizard and crimson. Um, always try and keep the clouds into just one section rather than just do a whole uniform like it just looks a bit untidy. So looking at the, the very far distant trees just on the horizon, you see how they're the same colour as the sky virtually. Um, so I'll put them in almost the same colour as the sky, pushes them right back into the distance. 
and then we've got these clay trees a bit closer where you can see the tree trunks a few more over here and a few over there I could have put these in a bit stronger some sort of similar tone like this just to make them stand out a bit more because they get a sort of bit, bit lost there in the landscape see I see how much that's much stronger here on this side um, I mean the foreground sort of grassy area pretty uniform colour green there sort of lighter area there which I've done in the sort of raw sienna up here and then I've tried to vary it a bit as I've come down so sort of pretty much lemon yellow raw sienna with a bit of ultramarine and pines grey to darken some little areas a few dabs with a the brush there just to look, make it look bit, sort of biggest tufts of grass sticking through this foreground brush down here with the yellow flowers on it I just use the paint straight out of the tube. Needs a bit of a, a bit of practice that method. Um, a bit haphazard, but I, I think there's a needs. It's worth, I think it's worth persevering with. See, there's a sort of faint footpath trodden in as it curves around you. I mean, you can only just about make it out. Emphasised, it's a lot stronger, obviously, in the painting there with the addition of a little friend walking his dog there just to give a focal point to the scene. So I think the overall compositions I haven't changed anything really. I've just tried to make the colours a bit more interesting and brighter and vary them a bit more. Well I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions please ask. And I'll see you again soon.